Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over aggressive CT tactics on overpass. This comes from a master team is Charles and Fnatic, so let's get started. So this first one's going to be monster aggression. We're going to see three players go towards the B site. So very early on, Zimnix is going to throw a Molotov towards the short pipe. And he's going to meet with Glaive to aggress towards monster. Majesty is going to be throwing the nades on this. He's going to be throwing a smoke first. Now the smoke is going to land just outside monster by the barrel. And he's going to throw two flashes that land right about here. Allowing Glaive and Zimnix to be able to take outside monster area and you can see that with the smoke it basically forces flusha towards this side of monster so he's not able to contest this area of the map allowing Strauss to be able to take this very easily so here are the nades so for the smoke you get into this corner and you're going to see three windows so you can see one two three you want to put your cross there on the bottom of the third one so right about there and you jump throw And the smoke will land right about here, forcing anybody who's playing by the barrel to go back towards T-spawn. And the flash, basically line your crosser up so that it's in line with this uh, black line, but a little bit to the right. And then along the edge of the shadow. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run and then jump throw. And you want to jump throw right at the moment when uh, you hit the, towards the middle of the shadow. So like this. And this is a really good flash, so if you're playing along this edge here, you can get blinded. If you're playing further back towards T-spawn, you can get blinded as well, like by the barrel. And then if you're going to be playing up close towards monster on the right side, like this, you're also going to get blinded as well. So it's a really good flash to throw whenever you're aggressing towards monster. It's going to be another example, again, of monster aggression. So Golden, he's coming out from heaven, he's going to throw the short Molotov, allowing Crims to save his Molotov. So basically he's going to go to the corner here, Golden's going to get ready to aggress towards monster. Crims, he kind of forgets how to throw the smoke, but he's going to throw the flashes anyways. And what I want to highlight here is that Fnatic have actually thrown the monster smoke from CT spawn, the one that you throw at the very start of the round, and they're going to aggress it with this flash. So Crims is going to throw this flash, Golden's going to sneak out through the smoke, forcing Zipnix to, be, to fall back, and allowing them to be able to take this part of the map once again. So they have this full outside monster area. So you can see from Zipnik's point of view, you can see how powerful this flash is. So he's playing rather, rather far back, he gets blinded as well. He's forced to fall back. And for the Molotov from Heaven, you basically just go towards the center of Heaven, and then you want to line your cross up in the intersection of these two buildings, so right about here. So it's right about there, and you do a little walkthrough. And it takes a little bit of practice, but you should be able to get it very easily. So this next one's going to be playground aggression. So what we're going to see is two Molotovs, one for stairs and one for playground. And then we're going to see JW and Broland. They're going to be the ones aggressing. And what we're going to see is that JW, as he gets towards the entrance of the stairs, he's going to throw an additional Molotov back here. So a third Molotov. And you see that device is basically stuck between two Molotovs here, allowing Broland to be able to get towards the playground area. JW is trying to toss a grenade as well towards the stairs. And he's going to fall back towards the playground, or the party area rather, to be able to watch Connector. And Brolan is creeping up towards playground, he's going to find this killing device here. So it's a really good way to aggress towards playground. And to throw the, this Molotov, this is the Molotov for playground. Basically, you want to line yourself up so that your cross is at the height of this bush here, or at the top of these stairs. And then you're going to see this little slot up here. So basically your cross should meet right about here, like this. And then you want to run and then jump throw right after you cross the divider. And you'll know you do it right if you have it bounce off the tree because you want the Molotov to kind of land behind this wood panel. To throw the other Molotov for stairs, you get on top of this bench. And then you want to line your crosser up with this dot here, but on this line. So basically your crosser will go here. And then you're just going to run and jump throw. So once again, playground aggression once again. So we're going to see a Molotov towards the stairs. Then Device is going to get up towards party, and then Glaive is going to get aggressive towards the fat one. And what we're going to see is that Device is going to throw this deep flash for Glaive to be able to push towards stairs. So there's the flash. Crims is forced to fall back. Glaive, he almost has an opportunity to get a kill there. But he doesn't as he falls back. So it's a really good way to also aggress towards this playground area or the stairs area just with the flash if they happen to smoke the Molotovs. 
So this next one's gonna be a boost towards uh, the water area, or rather towards short. And what we're gonna see here is that they're gonna stack up, and then Glaive's gonna throw the flash from the little peak over the wall. So Glaive throws the flash, and Zimnix gets a little bit of information on the pipe or connector. And to throw this flash, you basically go into this corner here, and then there's gonna be a little black triangle that you're gonna see here. You basically, need to put your crosshair towards the middle of it. You jump throw. And then with this flash, this flash is really good for the player that's short pipe. He's gonna get blinded completely. If somebody's coming out through it towards the connector, he's also gonna be blinded. And then if he goes, or if he's playing in this corner as well, he's also gonna get blinded as well. So it's a really good flash to take towards water with. So this one's gonna be a connector stack. So we're gonna see Zipnix and Dupree go towards the connector stairs. And what I want to highlight here is that they're actually standing in the middle of the stairs and not towards the edge. I see a lot of teams do that where their players actually stand towards the edge. You don't need to do that. You can stand towards the middle so that you're not exposed from this player who's potentially playing at the backside of connector. And with this, they're able to get a kill on the player's short pipe. So this is a really good stack to be able to use, maybe once a half, to be able to surprise the people that are playing short pipe. So this here is going to be short aggression. So we're going to see Magis is going to throw an early Molotov towards short. And then Glaive, he's going to be throwing the nade storm. So he's going to throw a nade behind this Molotov, as very commonly, Terps will wait behind this Molotov, waiting for it to dissipate. So Glaive, he's throwing the grenade to do extra damage, and he's going to throw a flash. Magist, he's going to peek with the flash. He's able to get a couple kills. So you can see from Crim's point of view, completely blinded. You can see from Broland's point of view as well, he's also completely blinded. And Magis, I mean, rather, Glaive kind of misses this flash just a little bit. It actually bounces off the top of the pipe, but it still works. And something I want to highlight here is that Magis actually peeks through the Molotov as well. It's very common that teams, they'll wait to do the flash push after the Molotov, but Magis is doing it with the Molotov. So that's a very important timing to be able to take advantage of, because sometimes the terrorists are not going to expect that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw, please drop a like. If you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next one.